they were foggy. We are heading down to Adam's off-road shop and we are getting a new upgrade thanks to pack brake. Uh, we're putting in airbags so we're actually looking forward to that. Um, this way we can level ourselves off when we're camping, uh, if we're towing something, we can give our back end a bit of a lift. Um, you want a higher stance in the back, give it a lift. Um, I'm looking forward to this. But it's foggy. And it's 3 Celsius, which is 37 Fahrenheit. Holy, that guy's moving. I don't know if he's going to stop or not. So one thing that I found out, like right now it's minus three, well it was minus three, now it's minus two. Um, but when it's really cold, circuits, and I've got to talk to a mechanic on this, but the circuits or the fuses or whatever it is, don't work the same. So when I find it's cold, I'm, I'm not able to, and <laughs> this kind of is a big deal, but I'm not able to have my heated seats on because uh, that circuit has blown or it hasn't warmed up. Um, the seats, the um, auxiliary lights, the cigarette lighter, which is my power supply, uh, USB, my voltage, um, things like that do not work. Uh, I think because everything's tied into that same fuse, same circuit, whatever it might be. So I've sent an email off to United uh, to see if they can move the heated seats to a different um, circuit, different fuse uh, to, to eliminate that issue because heated seats you want when it's cold. Um, <laughs> so it kind of defeats that purpose. So sometimes you don't know this until it gets cold. So this has nothing to do with them doing a job wrong this has to do with sometimes the way the weather is, the way the vehicle is, the way things are wired. Um, so we got to get that fixed. So I've just sent an email off to them and see if we can get that fixed. Okay, folks, I'm done with overlanding. It's van life time now. What can I say? Van life, baby! Not. We don't van life. We're an overlander. We adventure. We travel. We don't van life. Just to get that rumor straight. This has nothing to do with van life. This is actually Adam's off-road um, sh shop van because um, ours is in the uh, in shop. the shop <laughs> <Duh>. <laughs> um, getting the airbags and a tuna uh, from pack break so we're excited about that one so stay tuned <laughs> PSI, of course. Well, you can do a single airbag, one at a time, or dual. So we'll try this out once everything's connected. But at least I got the app now. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? There's no one there. I think my phone shrunk. Um, yeah, it did. What? That is so small. This is the pack brake control for the system, but they made it look like a phone. phone and it is so funny because 
here's my phone here. It's like, it's so funny. What, connected? Yeah, so these are your controls. So I've got a preset here. You can hear it kicking in right now. So now I'm at five PSI. Just a normal, if I wanna go up to preset two or three, then I can get more pressure. Um, I can also change this to just one control. So I'm just doing uh, one altogether. If I wanted to level stuff off for camping, I could use this setting so that um, one side is, um, I, I can adjust one side more than the other side, but normally I'll just keep it right here. Um, yeah, it's cute though, little phone. Other side. I know, these buttons don't work, they just, Show. this is power, probably. Make it look cute. You can change your PSI, you can change a dual, single, um, let's change it to single. There we go. So it's just one control. But yeah, pack break. Awesome. airbags on his truck along with a complete wireless system um, that's controlled all by this handy little tiny remote so you can raise uh, the truck by just pressing the button from uh, once you picked up your trailer um, to go with the added support then we'll just come around the back here and we'll compare our system to the competition so I've got our airbag that's uh, on the truck here and the competition you can see from here we've got much more durable, much more robust airbag. Inch thick aluminum end caps, 20 support wires and thicker rubber. Whereas with the competition, you know, it's uh, thermoplastic uh, end caps for the most part um, and, and much thinner rubber. So ours are gonna last a lot longer. Better built, better priced. That's kind of the pack break way. <laughs>